Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Update and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see what causes the curly leaves on hibiscus plants and how to fix this issue. You would see everything with updates, results and so let's get started. Here is one of my hybrid hibiscus plant and we can clearly see the curly leaves on my plant. All the new leaves are getting curled and they are not forming the right way. It's a hybrid hibiscus plant which is produced by bud grafting. Whenever you go to nurseries, please try to buy those hibiscus plants which are produced by cuttings. Of course, you can also get the grafted plants, but usually we get more problems on these kinds of plants. Anyway, I got this plant as the color of the bloom is really unique. So what to do when we see the curly leaves on our hibiscus plants? Let's take a look at another plant for better understanding. Here is again one of my other hibiscus plant and on this plant too we can see the curly leaves. Even though this plant is produced by cutting, the plant is not growing well. So very first thing we need to look for is pest attack. If there are any pests on our plants, we can find curly leaves. Especially the new leaves are going to be curly. For example, here you can clearly see the aphids. Aphids usually attack the new leaves and since they suck up the juice from those tiny leaves, they get curled or they don't form the right way. Here are two more examples. Right here you can see the aphid attacks in one of my seedlings of Cosmos and they are damaging the seedling very badly. Same way here you can see the aphids on a seedling of chili plant. Other than aphids, because of millibugs too, leaves might get curled. But this is not the same case with my first plant. As we can see, there are no any sign of pest attack and still leaves are getting curled. It's because there is lack of boron and other micronutrients. Let's fix the plant, but if the leaves are getting curled because of pest attack, then we need to apply pesticide. I already have one video where I have talked about 5 ways to get rid of millibugs. Many of those methods work against other pests too and last two, methods, last two methods are going to work against almost all the pest attacks. To know more about it, you can check out the video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner or you can also find the link in description box. To fix my first plant, I am going to report the plant once again by providing fresh soil mix. Many times we find issues on our plant simply because of the bad soil. I would need to add some other components as well. For the fresh soil mix, I am taking 60% normal garden soil and rest 40% vermicompost. Adding two components here. First one is two teaspoons of mustard cake powder. The second component is half teaspoon of biovita seaweed extract, and it's going to provide enough micronutrients to our plant. I would repeat the same once again after 30 to 40 days. Please note I am not adding any other components at this time. It's because plant is not growing actively. So let's give it a time to settle down first. Next, watering my plant. After that, I would keep the plant in bright area for next two days and then I would ship the plant to the terrace where it's going to get the direct sunlight for the whole day. Let's take a look at the updates. This is the result after 120 days and here you can see the beautiful blooms. The color is really very unique as I have mentioned you before. 
I have another one hibiscus plant too but this one is totally different and very very beautiful. I am so glad that there are no any kali leaves on my plant. But still I need to work on this plant and this year I am going to do my best to make it much more bushier. Getting lots of blooms on hibiscus plant is not difficult if we do few things the right way. You can check out my next video to know more about how to get lots of flowers on hibiscus, something like this. You would see everything with updates. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you very much for watching, take care and enjoy.